Hi friends, this is Raquel with Paints and Glitter, and today I'm just coming to you with a couple of project shares. The first one is this book here that I've made. I was asked to make a book for signatures um, for someone in particular, and this is what I came up with. I did use Tonic Studios die. The Live Every Moment Keepsake Wallet Creator Die Set. That's this one here. I've used it before. In fact, I made a book quite similar to this in uh, colors because I did use the same Prima papers and I was able to use those papers again a, a bit differently this time. I did use some beautiful board pieces from Rene Bouquet's in a tea theme as you can see there and what I've done is that I did top that all off with Nouveau drops to add color to the roses and a lot of shine and all of the stippling that you see there. Behind that what you see are some laces and some of these were given to me by uh, Deb who's a sweetheart um, and Deb if you're watching thank you so much. It came um, in very hand handy to be able to make this project and then the others that you see are uh, laces from Rene Bouquets as well as the uh, beautiful board pieces that I mentioned. So this book opens in this manner and it has three separate signatures. It also has a pocket here on this side that houses yet another notebook because there are four total. So um, if it gets filled up then this extra notebook can be used. I used one of the newer die sets from Tonic Studios to make this particular pocket and I'm not going to mention this one in this video because I'm going to be using it in a different one that's going to be coming up soon but um, here what I did was again I made three separate signatures and it's just plain uh, notebooks that I did create on my own so uh, what I did here was that I designed this uh, scripture verse here with almost like a, a small wreath that I uh, also created with little birds. I love birds and I like flowers of course so um, I designed that and I printed it out and it does say she is far more precious than jewels which is a Proverbs 3110 and then I added one of Vernie's little double-sided butterflies here so this can pop up but it will likely just stay flat here and I've also used laces on the edges of these notebooks plus um, on the first page of each one I also include a small scripture or just something that I thought would be pretty. This one is a quote. It says, see God in every person, place, thing, and all will be well in your world. World, And it has that beautiful, very ornate frame there. And I thought that would play nicely with the theme of this. And then the next signature here has this background. Again, this was tea themed and I did that on purpose. So... Um, I didn't have enough beautiful board pieces for the cover of each notebook, but I do have this particular die set that I really like. So I cut it out in white cardstock, and as you can see, it's pearlescent white cardstock, and I adhered the pieces here. I topped it off with little pearls, and then I have some stickers, and I just put here overflowing joy that would be appropriate there, and added some twine. I'm sorry, embroidery floss for the little tea bag there. And I did dry emboss the background and then added wilted violet ink to uh, the embossing so that it would stand out a bit. And that's um, distress ink, distress oxide ink, I'm sorry, from uh, Ranger. So the next signature, which is the last, and then all of these have different laces on the notebooks. I don't know if I mentioned that. So these are also beautiful board pieces here. As you can tell, I did not add the enamel to this one. I just wanted to keep it nice and simple there just to keep it soft. And then I just hand wrote another Bible verse. It says, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the one that takes refuge in him. I think it's a gorgeous psalm. And that is Psalm 34, 8. And I added that here with yet another little butterfly from Rene Bouquet's, a snippet of lace, and it is backed up with vellum just to soften the background there. And then yet more laces on the edges just to keep it very feminine. And then here I added yet again another piece of that purple lace. And um, yeah, and that's the inside. So that's that notebook. And then for the same person, um, I was asked to make some 
notebooks that could be used easily to take notes, uh, obviously. <laughs> so let me get those and I'll show you that. You may have seen a sneak peek of these in my last live video where I had a stack of papers on my desk. But here they are finally completed. And what I did was that I used, I think it's Bona's um, uh, tutorial on how to make the traveler's notebooks uh, laminated. So thank you so much, Bona. If you ever see any one of my videos, I don't know if she's ever seen them, but uh, if you happen to hear that I mentioned your name, I just wanna say a huge thank you for that tutorial. It made it easy for me to follow and just go ahead and make the covers and then I had made another traveler's notebook maybe about two years ago or something like that but her tutorial was was super simple to to do and um i wanted to make the most of the papers that i had because they are faith-based uh, papers uh, paper collection and so this is what i came up with what i've done here by the way is on the cover of every single one and there's a total of six I added washi tape and I know that some of it might look odd but I did it with the idea of having the ladies that receive these be able to tear off that washi tape and use it inside of the notebooks so even if the colors aren't precisely something that you would leave on there that was the idea behind that but um, what I did was that I used cutouts from the paper collection and I rounded the corners to match the covers I also, on the cover, by the way, made these little flowers, and I used a Sizzix die, and I'll show you what that looks like. It's a Spellbinders die, and I had picked this up in a haul of, goodness, a few months ago now, and um, I had wanted to make a project with it, but I didn't have the right felt. And so, yes, I wanted to make some flowers for a swap, and I ended up changing my mind because it didn't match what I was doing so I was able to use it this time around and I was so happy with how it turned out because what I did was that I sandwiched the elastic between the felt and these little prima flowers and I had them in all different colors a total of six which worked out perfect um, so each one of them was able to get a little flower for the closure so each no each one has four signatures I did hand stitch each signature added um, cutouts from the paper collection and different washies from my collection of washi tape of course um, and little stickers and things like that and I just thought they coordinated very nicely because they're so uh, the text is kind of very simple I didn't think it clashed and the paper is busy enough so <laughs> I also added um a uh, dashboard on every single one and I did use a die from my stash that says believe and again I repeated the same idea here by adding the washi tape so that the ladies could take tear off as much of that as they like and then use it in their note taking or just to highlight a page and each one of these is so beautiful because it has different uh faith statements that are just so encouraging and nice and then I use dies from my stash as you can see here just to change the shape a little bit there and add some little stitching on the edge and I love this it says forgiven in Christ and uh, added these little puffy hearts that were given to me in a swap um, so thank you so much because um, I was able to use those little hearts I use them also here on the outside I wanted to make the most of those and I just thought they were so darling so I've included them here and so this is what they all look like the difference of course is the papers so I made this one with more teal if you take that off it says do all things in love and then it has the um, a similar inside the dashboard is different the washi is different and what I did was that I purposely tried to use papers um, in the reverse, for instance, if uh, because they were double-sided, since this was the outside, then I flipped it over. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> I think you guys know what I mean. I can't talk right now. Um, so that's uh, what each one of them looks like. They each have four separate little notebooks, and they each have the uh, the different covers like that. And of course, the ladies can change. The I was even thinking among them, if one of them doesn't like a particular notebook, they could swap them out because it's going to go to a group of ladies. And I thought 
I know that that's something that would end up happening in my case. Like I would say, no, I want that notebook <laughs> and I'll give you this one or whatever. Um, this one here is a little bit brighter and I was going along with the beautiful fruit there in the background of that paper. And then I added the gold washi. Um, this one says do all things in love also, but the inside has different little notebooks here. And this one I double matted. Um, so some of them, you know, just have different details. This one also has the same dashboard, different washi. And I love this paper collection. It's so hard to come by different um, faith-based paper collections. And so when I do, I just feel like, you know, it's something very special to me. And I was so happy to have had this in my stash. Um, I had been saving it for something special, and I'm so glad that the opportunity came along to use it here. Um, and I am designing my own, um, as you could tell from that first notebook that I shared. So once those are complete, I will list them on Etsy for anyone who wants them. And they uh, obviously will be my own drawings and uh, my own font. But... Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. So there's that blue. This is probably my favorite one because it's got this watercolor kind of background. I love that. And then there's this one also. And again, I just use different washi from my collection um, and then just try to make them unique. I love this paper here also with the bold font like that. I thought that was gorgeous. So in this case, I layered washi on top of just some pieces of paper. And I don't know if they're going to stay, but even if they come off, I think it'll look cute. There's a dashboard there. And again, each one has its own little thing. So these were a lot of fun to make. I've been crafting very slowly, um, but I'm so happy to have these completed. And then this one says walk by faith. I love the colors in all of these papers, but this one's so, so pretty. And again, I added the little stickers. There's this one and the dashboard. And I love that bicycle washi. Just thought that was so cute. And then this one says be still. I added gold washi there and the little stickers here and there. And then that's the last one. And um, yeah, so th those are my projects. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. I know there are a lot of ladies making TNs right now. It's so funny, so coincidental. But again, um, again, I wanted to say thank you to Bona for her tutorial. And I think it's um, about a year old or something like that. But um, in any case, I watched it and I was able to make these. And I appreciate Bona and I appreciate you guys for watching and as as I always say I hope that you can be inspired and be blessed. Thank you. Bye-bye